everybody, it's Liz, and here we are with another gentle yet active flow. So let's all begin on our knees down in child's pose. So kneeling here, bum is back on your heels. You can spread those thighs a little bit if that feels good. And let's extend our arms overhead, reaching towards the tops of our mats. Spread those fingers, press our hands into our mat, and then exhale, settle in to this overhead reach. Feel your throat, your chin, your chest gently drop towards the floor. Now wiggle that jaw a little bit, release the tongue from the roof of your mouth, and let's just inhale through our nose. Exhale. And just find your own breath here. Nice strong inhalation. Match it with a strong exhalation. Keeping that relaxed jaw, the relaxed cheeks, relaxed eyelids. Continue here, just finding a little meditation with your breath. If you'd like to set an intention here or bring awareness to something, now would be the time. Another inhalation. Another exhalation. And this time as you inhale, let's walk our hands towards our knees, lift our chest away from the floor. Stay kneeling, make your way to hero's pose. Bring your palms to your thighs. So you are just sitting back on your heels now, still in that kneeling pose, just as you were in child's pose. If this is a little too much on the knees, just prop something under your bum. Nothing wrong with that. And if it's still a little too much, get the heck out of it. That's okay too. But assuming we're all here in hero's pose of some sort, hands on our thighs, let's roll our shoulders up, back, and down a couple times. And go the reverse direction, roll them up, forward, and down. And one more time, reverse, inhale, up, back, and down with our shoulders, rock our neck from side to side. Relax that jaw again, relax your cheeks. Taking a breath in here, fill your entire torso up with air, exhale that air out. All right, let's inhale, take our hands, reach them overhead. You can stay looking forward or look up in between the hands. We're still here in our kneeling hero pose. As we exhale, we're gonna twist to the right and let our arms float down. That left hand goes outside that right knee. The right hand is behind you, just fingertips kind of fluttering and tenting on the floor behind you. Just a nice gentle twist here. Inhale, bring those arms up, look forward. Exhale, twist to the left, let your arms float down. Right hand outside that left thigh, that left knee. Left fingertips tented behind you, twisting here. And inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring your hands together and lower them to heart center. Here we go. Release the hands. Make your way to a cat-cow position or tabletop position. So we're on all fours, knees below our hips, hand below our armpits or our shoulders. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Press through the full palm through all of your fingers, trying not to let those fingers bend up at the knuckles. Reach those fingers full finger bed into the mat. Here we go. Inhale, untuck your tailbone, sway back cow. Exhale, tuck your tailbone, hollow out, bring your chin to your chest, angry cat. Move through that a few times. Inhale through to your cow. Exhale, angry cat. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, angry cat. Make your way to a nice flat back. This time we're gonna take our right leg long behind us, our left arm long in front of us. Reach both up to the ceiling. Your thumb is pointing up, your heel is reaching up to the ceiling. Flex through your back leg, pull your belly up and in. Inhale here. When you're ready to exhale, let's bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Here we go, nice tuck, feel the angry cat there. Inhale back to a nice flat back, pull that belly up and in. Exhale again to a nice tuck, feel that elbow to knee. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to another tuck. 
inhale place hand and knee on the floor let's switch sides find that balance first here we go extend the left leg long right arm long thumb is facing up lift both up towards the ceiling above pull your belly in flat back even hips here we go inhale here exhale tuck elbow to knee lift up through that torso lift up through that chest inhale back reaching everything long and extended exhale back to tucking in the middle touching elbow to knee inhale lengthen everything out long exhale again tuck last time tucking here and inhale place both limbs back on the floor all four here you can take a cat cow here or roll at the wrist whatever feels good okay so from the tabletop this time we are going to take our right hand reach back for our same side right foot so you're balancing on the left hand left knee grabbing the foot or ankle now press that foot or ankle into your right hand open up and let's open then our hips and our chest to the right side of the room that you are in now open that chest kick that foot back into the hand open that chest big balance here notice your bottom left leg might want to go into a little bit of a kickstand so that foot kind of flares off your mat that's more than fine drop your shoulders out of your ears breathing here big balance all of a sudden you got this and before you release your foot roll everything back and then release the foot all four on the ground settle in find your balance second side so the right hand right knee are on the ground let's reach back left hand grabs left foot or ankle press foot or ankle into that hand start to open up through the front side of that left body and now rotate staring at the left side of the room you're in shift your weight so you're balancing just on those two limbs on the right side don't hesitate to kick that right foot off your mat for a little more of a kickstand a little more balance here open that chest kick the foot back in the hand a little more pull that belly in drop those shoulders you're breathing here and then carefully turn everything towards the floor release the foot and set everything back down roll out the wrists or shoulders however you'd like to transition from here okay so going to thread the needle so still on all fours let's inhale reach our right arm up open our body to the right a little bit exhale scoop that right hand underneath our left armpit twist to the left side of the room rest your outer right shoulder on the floor rest your outer right temple the outside of your head on the floor nice thread the needle here take your left hand place it on top that right hand press into that right hand get a little more of a twist breathing here Release that left hand back under the shoulder, press up, unthread this needle, both hands on the floor, roll the shoulders a bit. Second side, inhale, reach that left hand up, open your body to the left side of the room. Exhale, reach underneath that right armpit, feel that twist, twist, twist. Now lower the outer left shoulder, outer left head towards the floor. Settle in, get this twist, press into that right hand release the right hand now press it on top the left press again get a little more twist whatever feels good to you breathe into whatever you're feeling breathe into relaxation release that top right hand bring it below the shoulder again press up unthread the needle both hands on the floor roll those shoulders out take a cat cow whatever feels good we're gonna make our way to downward facing dog so let's tuck our toes lift our knees our hips try to straighten those legs again we don't mind if they're not all the way straight let's spread those fingers nice and wide press the full palm the full finger beds into the floor reach into your mat like you're pushing and reaching forward to the top of the mat find length in that spine let's walk this dog a little bit pedaling one heel at a time towards the ground when your right heel gets back to the floor really lengthen that right heel in keep that left knee bent reach both hands into the mat keep this length and switch it over left heel to the floor right knee bends a little deeper relax out of this try to get both heels towards the floor again we don't mind if it doesn't happen breathing here spread those fingers shake your head yes and no a little bit relax through the shoulders reach and lift pull that belly in find some breath here inhaling through the nose relax your jaw exhale through your mouth or nose 
nice job. So we're sticking with some balances here. So from downward dog, let's float on forward to a nice high plank. We're gonna rotate over to a side plank. Left side is gonna be down. So left hand on the ground, rotate over, stack the feet, left hand down, left outer edge of your foot in contact, stack those feet. If you need to stagger the feet, that's great as well. Just find this balance, pull your belly in, hips forward, lift that top hip up to the ceiling. All right, nice side plank here. This right hand, let's bring it to our hip. Stay here if you'd like, or reach towards the ceiling. Keep everything lifted through that torso. All right, top right foot, let's play it what, what it feels like to inch that foot up to your shin and try to open up that knee towards the ceiling. It might not get all the way to the ceiling, that's okay. So you're in a plank with a tree posture here. Hang here. If you want to inch that foot up a little bit higher, feel free to, but the key is to reach into the floor with that bottom arm. Try not to cave and collapse into that shoulder. Nice job. Bring both heels back together, both feet stacked. We're going to roll back over to a plank and then exhale back to downward facing dog. Find some relaxation here in down dog. Balance out that breath. Take a break if that's what you need right now. We're gonna make our way to the second side. So from down dog, inhale here. Exhale, let's float on forward to a high plank. Let's roll on over to a side plank, right side. So stacking those feet, right hand down, spread all the fingers, pressing the full finger bed into the floor, lift up through that torso, that low body, the floor side, lifting up. Left hand is on our hip. When you're ready, reach up to the ceiling with that left hand. Find this balance, keep that belly drawn in. Now inch that top left foot so your foot, the full foot is on your bottom right shin. Open up that knee a little bit to the ceiling so you're in a side plank but a tree pose here. Reach into the floor with that bottom arm. Again, try not to collapse into that bottom arm. Breathing here, you got this. All right, stack those feet with intention, come back to a plank and exhale back to downward facing dog. Break if you would like, otherwise take a breath here, inhale. Exhale all the air out, everyone join here in down dog. Now let's inhale, float forward to a plank again. Back to the first side, rotate over, left side plank, left side down, lift everything up. And instead of the tree, we're gonna go into a nice star. So instead of stacking that foot on the lower leg, let's just keep both legs straight and lift up that right leg. Nice star position, side plank here, reach into the floor, reach the top body up to the ceiling. Breathing here, drop those shoulders. So your body's in a nice star position. Carefully bring that top leg down to match the bottom. Roll back over to your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Like before, take a break if you need it. Just a quick one though. Everyone inhale here and down dog. Everyone join again. Exhale, downward facing dog still. Here we go. Inhale, float forward to a plank. Exhale, pivot and roll over to that right side. Keep breathing. Find your balance. Pull everything in. Nice strong side plank, and here we go. Lift up to that star position. Top hand is towards the ceiling, top leg is towards the ceiling. Feel your bottom leg have to really press towards the floor through that outer edge of the foot while lifting up. Big posture here, you got this. You're gonna come back down in two, one, roll it over to a plank, exhale, downward facing dog. Break if you would like or hang here. Inhale and downward facing dog. Everyone back to down dog as we exhale. All right, let's make our way to the top of our mat, softening those knees, big inhalation. Exhale, hop, step, float to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, straighten those legs, long spine, hands come to your shins. Exhale, soften those knees, fold back over your thighs. Let's make our way to standing. Inhale, reach those arms up towards the ceiling, reverse swan dive to get there. And exhale, bring your hands together at your heart center. <sighs> nice work. Inhale, reach those arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, let's drop the left hand. And now let's tip over to the left. Nice little side body bend here. Inhale, both hands come back up. Listen here. 
We're gonna exhale as we stand on just our left leg and lift up our right leg. We're gonna clasp our fingers, wrap it around our front right shin. Hug that leg, that thigh into our body. Now inhale, release, lift those arms back up to the ceiling, release the hands. Exhale, drop the right arm down and tip on over to the right. Feel that stretch. You're breathing here. When you're ready to inhale again, come back up, both arms up. When you're ready, exhale, balance on the right leg, lift up that left, clasp your fingers in front of that left shin, hug the leg into your body. When you're ready, release the leg, inhale back up with those arms, release the hands. And we're gonna swan dive forward, exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold over those thighs again. This time we're gonna step back with our right leg. Inhale these arms up overhead to the left foot forward, crescent lunge. Keep this length, you're gonna swivel that back foot and float those arms to parallel, warrior two. Look down, make sure you can see your instep. Look down, make sure your knee is over your ankle and not forward. Let's drop this back hand, inhale, scoop that front hand up, reverse warrior. Feel that length, pull that belly in. Let's exhale, come all the way through to a nice side angle pose. So our left elbow's on our left thigh. Let's take this top right arm towards the ceiling or reach it overhead so your biceps near your ear, whatever feels good. If you wanna go deeper, you can trace this bottom left hand outside of your left ankle, reaching those fingertips towards the floor. Or you can use a block. All right, from side angle, we're gonna inhale, come up into a triangle pose. So parallel arms, just like warrior two, but straighten that front leg. And now let's lean forward, reach, 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 and tumble down into triangle. Top arms reaching towards the ceiling, bottom arms reaching towards the floor. If you were to look at yourself from your side profile, your wrist, shoulder, shoulder and wrist of both arms are stacked beautifully. Pull that belly in, both thighs are flexed. Let's make your way to reverse triangle. So come out of this, drop that back right hand towards the back right leg and lift that left hand up to the ceiling. Keep both legs straight, belly drawn in, thighs and bum are flexed and strong. Nice work, come out of this reverse triangle, arms parallel. Let's turn both toes to the right side of your mat. Bring our hands to our hips and Gently fold with intention into a forward fold, but with this wide V stance. Let your head dangle as you get to the bottom here. Release the hands towards the floor. Rock your head, yes and no. Flex those thighs still. Reach the outer edges of your feet into your mat. Lift up through the arches. We're gonna leave our left hand on the mat, either tented fingers or full flat hand, whatever feels good. We're gonna twist to the right, reach up with that right hand, reach towards that ceiling. If it's a little too much, get that twist and bring the right hand to your hip, whatever feels good there. Let's come out of this twist, both hands back to the floor, and we're gonna work our way around the mat. So let's walk our hands to the back of our mat, towards your right foot, your right foot, the toes turn towards that back of the mat. This is the new front, okay? Bend into that right knee, make your way to crescent lunge. So we're gonna do everything again, but facing the back of your room, the back of the mat. Here we go, arms up to the ceiling, inhale, reach those arms up. Crescent lunge, second side here. Let's sink into warrior two, so swivel that back foot. Float those arms parallel to the floor. Reach that back leg nice and strong, nice and long. Glance down, you can see your instep of that front foot. Your knee is over your ankle. Let's go to reverse warrior. So dropping that back left hand, scooping your front right, reach up through that front rib cage, open up. Keeping nice strong midsection, stay low through the lunge stance of this posture, breathing into whatever you're feeling, breathing in for balance, making your way to your side angle of choice. So cartwheel those arms forward, elbow can come to thigh or the hand can go outside of the right ankle. Reach that left hand towards the ceiling or overhead, bicep near the ear, ear. whatever feels good to you as long as you have nice long length and lines. The left foot often gets forgotten, that back leg. So continue to reach that back foot towards your mat. Breathing into this posture. 
Let's come back up to warrior two, straighten this front leg, flex those thighs, flex your bum and your belly, reach forward and make your way into a triangle posture. Reach and then cartwheel those arms. Try to stack your shoulders and wrists. Go as deep as your body feels it wants and needs today. Continue to keep those hips pulled forward. Thighs are flexed, bum is flexed, belly's flexed. Protect your body, relax your shoulders. Let's make our way to reverse triangle. So come up to parallel arms and then back. So dropping that back left hand, scooping up that front right hand, look up to the top towards the ceiling. Drop those shoulders, continue to have that strong low half, that strong midsection. Continue to have breath. Come out of this, arms parallel. Turn those toes towards the left side of the mat this time, so the same way you came from. Hands come down to the hips, and we're gonna go into a forward fold again. Forward fold. Let's leave our right hand down this time. Open up, twisting towards your front of your mat, towards your left. The hand can be on the hip or reached up towards the ceiling. Nice twist here. Keep strong legs, strong midsection. Release the twist, both hands come to the floor. Before you move, you can hang here. You can kind of sway from side to side, or you can make your way to a headstand or a tripod headstand, whatever feels good to you. Or you can just hang. Or you can bend into one knee in the next, but I'll give you some time to pick your next posture, whatever is calling your name right now. Whichever movement you are grasping onto, make sure to breathe, make sure to move with intention, gently, powerfully, with balance, with ease. Coming out of whatever posture you chose, we're back in our V stance, our head is hanging. We're gonna bring our hands to our hips. We're going to powerfully come up to standing. We're gonna turn our left toes to the front of the mat. And then we're going to step up, have our right foot match our left. Beautiful, should be standing at the top of the mat. Hands are at our hips. Drop those hands and let's inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, swan dive, fold forward, let it go. Inhale, lengthen legs, lengthen spine. Exhale, fold back over those thighs. Bend through those knees, plant those hands. We're gonna hop back to a plank. Hop back, stick your landing of your plank nice and quietly. Okay, rotate those arms forward and exhale, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, straighten those arms, come to a nice back bend. Exhale, roll over those toes, downward facing dog. Let's make your way to the top of the mat again. Bend those knees, inhale here. Exhale, step, baby step, hop, jump, float, whatever. Top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen everything out, spine and legs are long. Exhale, fold over those thighs again. Plant those hands again. This time, you can hop back to your plank or hop back to your low plank, that chaturanga position. You choose, ready and go. Hop back nice and quiet. Low plank, if you chose it, if you did not, meet us there. Inhale, lengthen that spine, come up to that back bend of choice. That's either a cobra, baby cobra or an up dog. Exhale, float over those toes, downward facing dog. Nice work. Walk this dog a little bit, pedal those feet out, rock your head, yes and no. You can take a break if you'd like, otherwise stay here in down dog for just a moment or two longer. Relax your jaw and cheeks again, find your breath. Inhaling here, exhale. Check in with those hands, spread those fingers, reach into your mat, reach towards the top of your mat. Inhale here, exhale. This time as you inhale, look forward up towards your hands. You're gonna step your right foot forward towards your left hand. You're gonna plant the outer right foot down and then you're going to quickly match the left foot the same way, but obviously opposite hand. So left foot towards the right wrist and then you're in this cross-legged position now release the hands and roll towards your bum 
making your way to seated cross-legged most likely <sighs> cross-legged our right foot should be forward the left leg should be back to say cross-legged here try to lengthen that spine a little bit take your hands towards your hips drag them down so your hands you can feel that crease of the hips press your sits bones towards the floor find that length in the torso release the hands inhale reach those arms up to the ceiling and exhale let's hinge and fold over our thighs fold forward let your upper spine round out you can reach long or just drape those arms whatever feels good inhale bring your body upright let's uncross those legs take long legs on the mat seated long leg position here let's flex those toes toes should be staring up towards the ceiling legs are flexed and let's inhale those arms overhead exhale fold forward this time hinge at those hips feel the body drape at the very end after you've reached as far as you can let the head go chin to chest breathe into whatever you have here work inhale come back up arms overhead let your arms come down as you exhale we're going to cross these legs again but this time our left leg will be in front our right leg will be in back so switch your ruski on that cross leg inhale arms overhead exhale fold over those thighs those ankles let your chin drop to your chest inhale arms up Come out of this exhale let your arms float down let's go long legs again from long legs keep the left one long let's bend that right knee so now the right foot is flat right next to the left knee and we're gonna inhale our arms overhead both of them exhale turn to the right hook look that left elbow outside of the right knee if you can if not just take that left arm and hug that right knee in whatever feels good but get this twist this right hand can float behind you and kind of be tented on the ground. Fingertips can be, and you can assist this twist. Inhale, release everything. Come up with both arms. Exhale, let your hands come down. Let's switch our legs. Bend the left knee, straighten the right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Hook that right elbow outside the left knee or just hug that knee in, whatever feels right. Left fingertips are tented behind you. Help and support that twist. Keep that open chest, long spine here, breathing into your twist. Coming out of this, inhale both arms up. Exhale, float the arms down and release the legs long. Shake those legs out a little bit. Bend those knees and roll on back so you're lying down with bent knees feet are hips width apart heels are drawn towards your bum we're gonna do a seat a lying bridge here so here we go lifting up our tailbone then one vertebrae at a time balancing on our upper shoulders check in with your footprint nice balanced footprint stay here if you'd like or you can clasp your hands underneath your body wiggle the shoulders clasp those fingers lengthen your knuckles long but be sure to try to staple the outer edge the pinky edge of your arms to the floor as you reach them long feels if your shoulders are dragging towards your heels and your heels are dragging towards your shoulders lift up through the hips pull that belly in keep this lift if your arms are clasped release those hands and slowly roll down Come out of the bridge. Let's take our right leg long, settle in for just a quick moment, then our left leg long, settle in for another quick moment. Our hands are down and out by the sides, palms facing up. We have made our way to final resting pose, Shavasana. So let's rock our head from side to side, release the jaw, release your cheeks, your eyelids. Big, big, dramatic inhalation here followed by a dramatic exhalation. It can be audible. <sighs> Wiggle into the floor, to the mat below you. And just spend these final 30 seconds or so in Chavasana. Trying to clear your mind. Come back to that breath. Have the rhythm of the breath be your meditation. Some of us will come back to our intention as well.
Let's bring our hands together at our heart center. Inhale, feel your chest lift up to your thumbs. Exhale. I thank you all for finding the time to take care of yourselves. Namaste.